Nowadays, numerous headlines have popped up about a devil comet that's bigger than Mount Everest on its way toward Earth. But what's really going on? Let's take a step back and dissect this devil and whether or not you should be worried. The so-called Devil Comet has a much less terrifying name, Comet Ponsbrooks. This short-period comet orbits the Sun once every 71.2 years. This comet is not a newcomer to the solar system scene. We've known about Ponsbrooks ever since 1812, when comet hunter Jean-Louis Pons spotted it at fourth magnitude. So now question arises why this comet is named as Devil Comet. Well, in late July, the comet underwent an outburst, blowing off a bunch of gas and dust and brightening by about 100 times, jumping overnight from magnitude 17 to magnitude 12. Such outbursts are random, unpredictable, and not entirely common, Though researchers have noted that Pons Brooks in particular has exhibited such behavior before, and several times per orbit. That outburst caused the coma to distort into a horseshoe or horn shape, with a dark center and bright wings or points. Hence, many media outlets nicknamed it the Devil Comet. After the outburst, the comet settled down again and its brightness remained steady until earlier this month, when it outburst again, bringing the horns back. In addition to making it sound like an evil horned beast, sensationalized headlines can also give the impression that Ponsbrooks is a real danger to Earth. And sure, it is heading our way, but that is not the case. Remember that space is three-dimensional. And while all the planets in our solar system orbit the Sun in a relatively flat plane, comets don't have to follow that rule. Ponsbrooks has a highly inclined orbit that is essentially bringing it down from above the ecliptic as it rounds the Sun. So, Ponsbrooks will pass between the orbits of Earth and Venus before heading out of the inner solar system again. It will not ever cross the orbit of Earth and can't pose the least bit of danger via impact. The closer it will come to our planet on this orbit is about one and a half times the distance of Earth from the Sun in June 2024. So, absolutely nothing to worry about. Comets are not only beautiful, but they offer us the opportunity to study the building blocks of our solar system and the interaction between the Sun and the objects that orbit it. So, the next time you hear about the Devil Comet, you'll know better, it's really an exciting and benign visitor that will help make an already once-in-a-lifetime eclipse even more memorable.